In the interest of moving things along, we're going to be a little bit shorter moving forward. I'd like to bring on the CEO of Cord to talk a little bit about his company. Thank you. Hello, Toronto. So I'm uh, Stephen Smith, co-founder and CEO of Cord, and I'm here to talk to you about curbs, something that you haven't probably thought about very much, but we think about a great deal. So we now live in an era of mobility on demand. Uh, we've been experiencing this, you know, a ride at the click of a button, a dinner at the click of a button, uh, and now, of course, scooters uh, invading many cities around North America, and of course, autonomous vehicles around the corner. So a tremendous amount of opportunity, uh, but also a lot of challenges, and we're experiencing this all ever, ever too much every day. And so, uh, excuse me. Our streets are at a breaking point. We see these scenes. We see scooters piled up on, on street corners. We see uh, city curbs becoming like airport uh, pickup areas with Ubers and Lyfts two or three deep. And we see delivery vehicles stopping uh, willy-nilly, essentially, uh, happy to pay parking tickets as a cost of doing business. UPS in New York City pays 20 or $30 million a year in parking tickets to the city. And so the way that the cities deal with this is putting up a new sign. They operate in a physical world. They add a, a city council passes a new regulation, takes them perhaps years to do that. They put up a sign on top of the other signs and it leaves users confused. What's the answer? So we are excited about a concept called the digital curb. And digitization has, of course, changed and transformed many industries represented here today. And we think that urban mobility is no different. And so what we're doing is building this curb, making a, 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 a digital curb that is predictable. So you know before you go what the appropriate curb space is for parking your vehicle, for making a delivery, for picking up a passenger. It's dynamic. The prices can change. The terms and conditions can change depending on local traffic conditions, the weather, game day, you name it. And ultimately, it's productive. So we're, we're motivated and we're passionate about making cities more accessible, livable for all of the people that live in them. For us, the productivity of the curb is the best measure of that. It is our North Star metric. And so it's serving the most number of people per unit time, per unit length. That's how we judge ourselves. And so in terms of our products, we offer a platform that enables curbs to be digitized. Most cities don't have a good map of their curbs or the rules that are on the curbs. So we created an augmented reality-based technology to address that. We have a technology to analyze curbs, supply and demand for the space, and also technology to use curbs. So an API for fleets, there's various other different tools for cities to share parking maps and curb maps with their community. And so here are just a few of the things that you can do. For example, direct commercial vehicles to the right space along the curb, uh, reduce complaints, parking ticket disputes, etc. But ultimately, we believe you cannot manage what you can't measure. And so we have invested a great amount of time in actually mapping out these curbs. And to date, we are in uh, five US cities. Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, and New York City. And by the end of the year, we are planning to be in the rest of these cities in North America, including, of course, Toronto and Vancouver. So with that, thank you very much, and I encourage you to visit us at our uh, booth in the Growth